Hi, you guys. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to cook ground beef from frozen in our Epicure steamer. I'm using the rectangular steamer um, because I only have a pound and that's all I need. So from frozen, biggest thing is gonna be to get the wrapper off of it here. Just gonna get it started. This is like rock solid frozen. Okay. This is for the days when you came home, you've come home, totally forgot to take anything out, and you're starting from scratch at like 5.30, 6 o'clock, and don't have time to make a big production of it. You probably have hungry people that want to be fed right away. Uh, this is the times when the steamer will come in super handy. Sorry. Like I said, I think the hardest part of this operation is going to be getting the wrapper off of it. Okay. We're in business. Okay. One pound rock solid frozen ground beef. I'm going to put that in the microwave with the lid on. I'm going to try five minutes. I just want to get it to the stage where I can break it up a little bit. And I'm going to use our meat separator to do that. It's not going to be fully cooked in five minutes, but it's going to be to the point where I can break it up a little bit. And I'll show you what, guys. So five minutes. Uh, not the most beautiful looking thing you're ever going to see, but I just wanted to show you partially done. I just want to show you how much fat I'm going to be able to get out of this. So I'm just going to pinch the corners and drain all that off like so. Okay. And then I'm going to get that out of the way and I'm going to use our meat separator to break it up and actually it's thawed. And it's probably just about done. It's not going to take a whole lot more. That was five minutes in my microwave. And you guys saw how frozen that was, right? Okay. Um, I promise you, if you, if I were to fry a pound of ground beef and do it this way, once you season it up, you're not going to taste the difference. It's moist. It's delicious. Um, it's so easy, you guys. That's the best part. The cleanup's a breeze and it is so easy. All right, so I'm gonna put that back in for two more minutes, and I'll show you what that looks like. So that went back in for two more minutes, and I think it's completely done. Biggest thing is, same as anything else, you wanna make sure all the pink is cooked out of it, and that it's cooked all the way through, and this is. So eight minutes ago, this was rock solid frozen, um, and now this is gonna be ready to go. Um, this could be added to spaghetti sauce, tacos, wraps, anything you want. I'm going to add a little bit of our taco seasoning to this, and this is going to end up being a burrito. I'm going to show you the finished product. Um, great thing about our taco seasoning is you can pronounce all the ingredients, and it's sodium and sugar conscious, so this has no sugar in it, and only 15 milligrams of sodium for a teaspoon, which is next to nothing. So Epicure's thing is low sodium, but not low flavor. So instead of fillers and all the yucky stuff, it's just real food. So ingredients in this is chili powder, uh, onion, garlic, mustard, herbs, cayenne, and jalapeno. I find it a little warm, so I'm not gonna use a lot, but I have a wimpy palate. So depending on how much you like, um, you can add as much or as little as your family will eat, okay? So I'm gonna start with that. And I'm gonna mash that in. I'm gonna put the lid on and just let it keep doing its thing. And that's ready to go, you guys. Super, super easy. And um, I know if we had to do this from frozen in a frying pan, we would not be eating eight minutes later. And may not have even done it because it would have been a lot of work. This was not a lot of work. This will go in the dishwasher when I'm done. Super easy.